Uh, Darren, not the endings pre-season we went into today. How, how can you assess that one? Um, Elliot Johnson come off with a with a slight niggle on his thigh, so that's the most disappointing thing about today for me. Um, some of the young boys that played, young Ronnie in now, you know, will learn from the mistake that led to the goal. It's only a baby, but he's got a big future in front of him. Passed the ball at times okay and created opportunities that would say we should have taken something from the game, but we, we didn't convert any of our chances. Um, but, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm pleased that pre-season's come to an end because I want the season to start now. I think I've, I'm, I'm obviously one of my most important aims in pre-season was to try and make sure everyone was available for the opening day and unfortunately we've, we've picked up a, a few niggles over recent weeks um, but I, I back this group of players and whatever group I put out next Saturday I'll, I'll be confident going into the game but you know, there's no there's no getting away from it, I'm, I'm slightly disappointed that we've uh, picked up Another little niggle again today. So you don't feel like the performance and result is a, is much of a setback ahead of the overall next week? The performance was better in the second half. It was just, you know, it's just in the first half, a little bit again, unfortunately, got to say it, so we'll have to address it. A little bit slow getting going. Um, so we can't keep talking about it. We've got to, we've got to do something about it. Uh, but the performance was OK. If I look for positives within our young boys, um, there's a couple of them there that tried to do the right things, which is pleasing. Um, but like I say, it's, it, I'm disappointed we didn't score, obviously, with the, with the opportunities that we've created. We should have at least got one goal today. Moving on from the game, you, you've got your man in James Dunn, secured that signing today. You said to me earlier... You have to be patient. Now you must be delighted that that's paid off. Now, yeah, well pleased. He's uh, he's a real enforcer. Um, what he allows me to do with the other boys we have in midfield is play um, different combinations. You know, depending on the opponent, there's going to be games where we dominate the ball and it will be a, a Bucard day. There's going to be games where it's roll your sleeves up and it might be a Harry Taylor and Danny Day or a Charlie Adams and Danny Day or you know. So I've got a good good mix in there that I can put out a midfield that we can cope with whatever game situation we find ourselves in. He's a great lad. Um, I'm really, really pleased to have him on board. He'll fit in well with a group of lads. Um, and he he is the first of what I hope to be uh, two signings before the start of the season. But if it doesn't happen and you're never quite sure until it's signed on a dotted line, if it doesn't happen um, doesn't mean I'll stop trying to get the striker in because I've made it very clear that's my 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 main target. The done situation was always bubbling away in the background, so I've managed to get that done first, which I'm pleased about. But I still need a striker. There's no doubt about that.